Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about bags that have grabbed my attention for 2023. There are a lot of brands that are grabbing my attention that aren't your usual brands like Chanel, especially with all of the price increases. I've been exploring other brands and I've mentioned before in my videos that I'm pretty happy with my Chanel collection and so it has me looking elsewhere. Now I've mentioned in previous videos that I do have Hermes handbags on my wish list. I don't currently own any Hermes bags. I would love to add one and I don't really want to talk about Hermes too much in this video. I've talked about them before. For. I love the Kelly. I love the Birkin. I love the Constance. I think the Evelyn is a really cute bag too. I've looked at that one as sort of like an Hermes starter bag. And the thing that a lot of people really love about Hermes are the craftsmanship and the high quality of their bags. Of course, the bags carry really high price tags, especially those Birkins, those Kellys, the Constance. The Evelyn is more of a lower price point bag when it comes to Hermes. But if you like Hermes bags for those reasons, then here's another brand that I really think that you should consider. It's called Loner London. And Loner is a brand that was started in the 1940s. They're very much an English heritage brand. And I don't really see them talked about a whole lot. If you know this brand, it's probably because Queen Elizabeth was a very big fan. She often carried their bags. And for that reason, for a long time, I sort of associated them with like a an older, more mature woman. But in the last year or so, I've been checking them out because I, again, I really like the craftsmanship of Hermes. And Lauder also has a high quality quality craftsmanship. All of the bags are handmade. They have a signature rope hardware piece on the front of their bags. This is gold plated. So if you are a fan of vintage Chanel bags and you like the fact that they're gold plated, then this is something that you could look into too. These bags tend to average around two and a half to $4,000. When you order your bag, you customize it to exactly how you like it. You can do two tones, you can do multiple colored leathers, you could do a calf leather or a patent leather, and all of the bags are made to order. So they do take a few weeks to arrive, and you can also personalize the bags if you want to put your initials inside. They carry a royal warrant as well, I mentioned earlier that Queen Elizabeth was a fan so they do have a royal warrant which is a very special thing for a brand to have in the UK and the styles are very classic styles so they will last you beyond any trends and if you are looking for classic bags something that will last you throughout the whole of your life then I definitely think this is a brand to check out and one that I hope to be able to see more in person I've really only seen them online I never see them here in Miami being carried around not that I've noticed so I'm very interested in this especially because it's not really a talked about brand but the craftsmanship is there, the quality. They do quality control all of their bags, so you won't experience the quality issues that you have with other fashion houses that are really popular right now, and I think that's also very important. And the price point for a designer luxury bag is a lot better than it is for other bags for what you're getting. The next bag and brand that I'm really interested in 2023 is the Celine Triumph shoulder bag. I do like the chain version. There is a leather strap version. I like both, but I think I'm leaning more towards the chain because it's a little bit more dressy, a great little bag to take out to dinner. I love this beautiful jade color that it comes in, but I'm kind of leaning towards the black with the gold hardware just so that it could be a little bit of a dressier shoulder bag for me. Celine is a brand that I think is going to gain popularity in 2023. It's always been there and not that it's not been popular in the past. It just has fallen below other brands I think in terms of popularity but they have a lot of classic styles as well. I really like the Triumph line. I love their ready to wear as well. They have a lot of classic beautiful pieces. Another bag that has really grabbed my attention in recent months is going to be the Louis Vuitton Lock Me Ever Mini. Now I do love a nice top handle classic bag. I'm a big fan of my trendy CC. I love the Hermes Kelly and this bag falls into the category with those other bags and the color that I really like is the grayish. I've been wanting to add a Louis Vuitton bag in grayish for a long time and I used to always look at the Capucines and the Capucines was a bag that I just never really pulled the trigger on. I always felt that it was very expensive for what it is. It's a gorgeous bag but it really doesn't hold its value and so if I were to ever add a Capucines it would probably be a pre-love. The Lock Me Ever Mini is a soft 
softer leather than the capucines from what I've seen in the boutiques when I've checked it out. Let me know if you've had this bag in the comments below, how the structure has held up over time. I don't really see these too often for sale on the pre-lift market like I do the capucines, so I don't know yet what the wear and tear on them would be like, but I think it's a gorgeous bag. I also like that it has a crossbody strap, which I do love a top handle and a crossbody, and it's always nice when you have a top handle and you have the option to add the chain so that you can use the bag hands-free. I think this is another very classic and beautiful style from Louis Vuitton. Now the last bag is from Loewe. Now Loewe is a brand that I haven't really gravitated towards their bags. There have been several bags that have been popular like their basket bag and their puzzle bag. I know that there are huge fans of the puzzle bag probably watching this channel, but for me it just wasn't really a bag that I gravitated towards or fell in love with. I do know that Loewe has excellent quality leather though and so I have always been kind of interested in maybe one day adding a bag to my collection but it had to be the right style and recently I came across the mini gate bag now this bag has a leather strap crossbody style but also recently they have released a more casual monogram strap I think I lean more towards the leather strap and I just think that this would make a really cute summer bag something to wear crossbody with like a pretty dress or maybe some shorts and an nice blouse and it's really the first bag from Loewe that has drawn my attention. I've been watching videos on it on Nordstrom. You know how they add those styling videos into all of their descriptions so I do see that it can fit a phone based on those videos which is important to me. I think it's really cute. I love the little bow tie detail in the front and I think if I were to add this bag I would add it in this tan color which I think is perfect for summer. I know we're only in March but I'm very much thinking of summer and I Honestly, I live in Miami, it's pretty much always summer here, so these bags work for me usually year round. The one thing that I could see kind of being annoying is that flap in the front. So I would have to check this bag out in person. I haven't yet done that. I've just been admiring it online. The other thing that I really like about this bag is that it is a convertible style. The strap is adjustable and you can change it so that you can carry this bag either crossbody or like a sling, very much like my Lululemon bag that I like to use all the time. Or you can also use this as a belt bag or a shoulder bag so there is a lot of versatility in the bag which I think is great because I always feel like you get more bang for your buck when a bag is more versatile. Well guys that's it for this video. Those are the bags in 2023 that are really grabbing my attention apart from the bags that I've previously mentioned in my 2023 wish list. If you own any of these bags particularly the Lock Me Ever Mini, the Mini Gate from Loewe and a Loner bag I would be very interested to hear your opinion and how these bags have worn for you, especially the Launer and the Loewe bags who are very much known for the quality of their leather and their craftsmanship. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I will leave some videos on the screen if you're not done with my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.